welcome to day four. I'm so glad that you're hanging in there and you're doing this with me. I hope your body and your mind, body, spirit, and all is feeling better. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and hit subscribe and let's get a move on. I'm starting standing up on my mat today. My feet are parallel. Look down and make sure that they're parallel and just kind of wiggle it out for a minute. So you can settle it in, even pick up your toes, spread them as far as you can, and then really intentionally just ground them right into the mat. And from here, inhale. On the exhale, nod your chin. Keep your weight forward on the balls of your feet and your toes and rounding forward just for a nice good hang. I just want you to take a little check of where your body is, how it's feeling. And my knees are nice and soft. Inhale. On the exhale, restack all the way up, growing nice and tall. Shoulders, neck, and head are the last one to come up. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale. On the exhale, nod your chin. Try to make note what feels good, what feels bad, what feels tight, what feels creaky, what feels like it needs some attention, what feels like it's strong, what feels like it's weak. Just take a little minute to check in with your body. Try to shut out the rest and just think about how your body's moving. Knees again are soft and you're rolling all the way back up to the top. Hold it right here. We're going to take ourselves right to the end of the mat, crossing one foot over the other. Arms reach out in front. We're doing this, coming all the way down to the mat with good control right from the get-go. It's nice and slow and steady. Find your derriere plopped on the mat and then reach those arms out and slowly rolling down all the way to the mat. Arms come down by your side. Knees are bent and inhale shrug your shoulders up and exhale reach your arms long down by your side and inhale shrug your shoulders up and exhale reach your arms long down by your side one more time inhale shrug your shoulders up and exhale reach your arms long down by your side press those arms into the mat like you're trying to make a little indentation of your arm right into your mat and from here, inhale, on the exhale, rock your hips, peel and curl those hips all the way up to the top. Hold it up here, breathing into your rib cage, into the sides and back of your rib cage. Inhale, and exhale, articulate all the way down. Uncurl completely at the bottom and inhale and exhale, rock your hips, peel and curl all the way up, holding at the top, reach those knees to the other side of the room, feel the backs of your leg kick in and give me that good intercostal breath right into your rib cage, inhale and exhale, articulate all the way down. No, this move just always feels so good on my back and my spine. I hope it does for you too. And rock your hips, peel and curl all the way up. This time, holding it up there. I want you to put some imaginary little scoopers on, the, on your hips here. You're gonna drop your right hip, your right little scooper, into an imaginary sandbox. I want you to scoop up some sand and lift that hip up. Drop that left hip into the sandbox, scoop up some sand and bring it right back up. And the right one drops and scoop and lift. Left hip drops and scoop it around. I'm essentially making a figure eight if you haven't already put that together. So let's just keep going, smoothing that figure eight out, dropping that hip, bringing it all the way back and around, dropping that left hip down and scooping it out to the side and up. Just getting that beautiful, smooth figure eight. This emulates a little bit of walking. If your knees have started wobbling back and forth, bring them back to the center. I want this to be right in your spine and right in your hips. And you don't get to play along with your knees. So they get to stay right where they are in the middle. One more time, that left hip drops, bring it around, hold it at the top and slowly coming all the way down. Uncurl completely at the bottom. Bring those feet together and your knees together. Interlace your hands behind your head and inhale. On the exhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. Hold and lower it right back down. And inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. Inhale into your rib cage again and exhale, lower it down. 
and inhale. Head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. Reach around, grab the backs of your legs. Curl your torso up a little bit higher. Hands come up to the ceiling. Interlace your hands behind your head and lower all the way back down and head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. Reach around, grab the backs of your legs, curl your torso up a little bit higher. Hands come up to the ceiling, interlace your hands behind your head, let your head be heavy in your hands. Inhale, on the exhale, stay lifted, take it over to the right. Come through the center and over to the left. You're aiming to get both of those shoulder blades off the mat and keep them off the mat, rotating right around your waist. Those knees again are staying still right in the center and left. We're going to take it over to the right. With your left hand, I want you to reach across, grab that thigh, twist yourself a little bit more, spot yourself to lift a little higher and give me a pulse for five, four, three, two, and one. Stay lifted. Right hand comes across. You'll get a nice stretch across your back doing this. Left hand comes behind your head. Twist. Spot yourself for a little lift and give me a pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Might as well just take this down as we go counting. Cross that left over your right. Right hand comes behind your head. Twist and lift for four, three, two, and one, and cross. Left hand comes behind your head. Twist, spot yourself to lift, and it's four. Three, two, one. Now we've done it, we've started it. Now we gotta go to threes, right? Twist and lift for three, two, one. Cross, and twist and lift for three, two, one. My abs are awake. I don't know if yours are. I hope they are with me, because it's challenging. Give me for twos. Two, one, cross. Left hand comes behind your head, stay lifted for two and one. Come back to the middle with both hands and take it to the right, through the center and to the left. One more time each side, you got this. One more time right, through the center and to the left. Come back to the center, head comes down. Hello, arms come down by your side and exhale. Fabulous. Right leg floats up to tabletop and left leg floats up to tabletop. Tap that right toe on the mat and bring it right back up and left toe taps. Make sure you're hinging from your hip. That knee stays at 90 degrees and your rib cage is settled right into the mat. My abs are definitely awake at this point and maybe even talking to me. See what you can turn off. Arms are pressed steady into the mat. Your toes should be relaxed. Your feet should be relaxed. Legs are along for the ride. One more time right, one more time left. Both knees stay up. Squeeze them together nice and tight. Pull your lower back into the mat. I want you to have a little indentation of your vertebra in that mat. So really pulling down, stabilizing through your powerhouse and your torso. With that, both feet go towards the mat and exhale pulls it up and float it away and pull it up. Inhale floats away, exhale pulls it up and float and up. From here, let's hover your arms. That changes it ever so slightly, yeah? And then we're gonna continue just adding on to this fun little ditty here. Next time your knees lift up, head, neck, and chest lifts to meet it. Hold that chest lifted as those feet go down, tap, and bring it up and tap and up. Don't let your belly float up at all. You're using those muscles to keep everything nice and steady. From here, add your arms as your feet float away. Arms float over your head and bring it right back in and reach. Shoulders are staying out of your ears. Three more. Two. One more time. Hold it right there. Head comes down. Hug your knees into your chest, just for a quick little count or two. Take a nice good inhale, a nice deep exhale. And let those knees float right back to tabletop. Hands come up to the ceiling. 
Arms come out to the side, palms stay facing the ceiling. Keep those knees glued together tight. Pick that left hip up to let those knees float over to the right and pull it back to center. Take it over to the left and pull it back to center. And take it to the right and center and left. And pull it back to center, just twisting right around your spine getting that movement, always aiming to get your spine moving up, down, side to side, twisting, and sometimes that's all we need to just get the blood flow moving to our spine in some of those directions that we don't always move while we're sitting around working on computers or something like that. One more time to the left and pull it back to center. Right leg goes long on the mat. And from here, arms come down by your side. Left leg is still in tabletop. Flex your right foot, press it into the mat. Get that opening feeling on that right hip flexor. From here, I want you just to cross your midline with that knee and bring that leg down and around and up. And I usually have you keep your hips real still on this, but today I'm just feeling kind of just let it go. Move your knee, just let that leg circle around in your hip socket there giving you a little free range hip movement here. And then hold it at the top and switch directions. Take it out to the side, bring it down, around, and up. Just letting it move. Hold it up at the top. Grab a hold of that knee with your opposite hand. Cross it over your body. Send that left arm out in the opposite direction. And again, find a lovely, deep, big exhale. Right here. Feel your spine just get wrung out and twisted. On the next exhale, pull that leg back to center. That left leg is gonna go long. The right leg is coming into tabletop. Flex that left leg, press that left leg into the mat. Arms come down by your side. That right leg in tabletop, just cross your midline and just circle that leg around. Just let it have its time to shine in a little rotation. Hold it at the top, switch directions. And hold it at the top, grab a hold of that knee with your opposite hand, cross it over your body. Right hand goes out to the side towards my wild horses. <sighs> Hello, little horses. And on the next exhale, pull that leg back to center. Right leg goes long on the mat. Arms come up to the ceiling, palms face each other. Press your shoulders down toward your hips. Squeeze those inner thighs and ankles together. Press your back bottom rib into the mat. And inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. And exhale, rolls it right up. Belly button stays pulled back behind you, lifting your rib cage up off your hips. Shoulders are out of your ears and slowly and with control, rolling it back and down. And inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat and reaching that energy forward and still pulling back at your belly button and coming down. On this one, I'm gonna kill all of your momentum. As I have you inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts right into that no man's land and hold. And then from here, give me a small lift and lift and lift and lift and three, two, Last one, we're gonna come all the way up, grab your legs if you need to, let go when you can, and coming all the way forward, and inhale. We're gonna come into that no man's land from the top, it might not be quite as low, hold it right there, feet stay still, hips stay still, and lift up over the top of your hips, and lift, 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 and lift, and three, two, and last one, coming all the way down, and from here, inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. 
and sit up nice and tall. And from here, I'm going to sort myself out because I started losing my pants on that one. And I'm going to sit up right on my sits bones, anchor your tailbone into the ground, squeeze those legs together, my feet are flexed. Interlace your hands behind your head. If this is a challenging position, push pause quickly and grab a little um, pillow or a box or something to relieve that pressure on the front of your hips. And lift up tall towards the ceiling. Inhale, on the exhale, rotate to the right, rotate a little bit more, and inhale back to center. Take it to the left, exhale, exhale, inhale back to center. My feet are not moving as I rotate to the right. Exhale and ring out your lungs and inhale back to center. And left, rotate, rotate more, and inhale back to center. Let's take it to the right and hold for just a minute. Take a minute and look at your feet. If your feet have shifted, I want you to make sure that left hip crease is pulling back so that those legs, feet are even, so that you're moving at your waist, not your hips, and back to center. One more time, take it to the left. Look at those feet. If that right hip, right leg is longer, pull that right hip crease back so that they're even and center. And one more time without having to check. Take it to the right, exhale a little bit, Grow tall as you come back to center, and left, and pull it back to center. Hold it right there. Bring those hands right behind you. Fingertips are going to be facing your rear end, and I want you to make sure your knees are soft. They don't have to have a major bend, unless you really want one, um, but they are soft. They're just not hyperextended, and chest is open. You're lifting up from the ground, and from here, inhale as you lift yourself up into a little reverse plank. A little balance control backwards here and inhale and exhale stay lifted as you slowly lower your rear down to the mat where you know we're going back there inhale on the exhale lift it up opening your chest and shoulders up my knees are ever so slightly bent which means there's a lot of work going in the back side of my body and my hamstrings inhale and exhale lower it all the way down one more time inhale lift it up and if you would like to make this more challenging, you're more than welcome to add a little lift of your right leg and then your left leg. I am a hyperextender, so this is where I'm at. Because as soon as I go to one leg, I hyperextend. So I'm just holding here happily. You are too, I'm sure. Inhale and exhale, lower all the way down. Whew. Sitting up nice and tall again, separating those feet at least the width of the mat. Arms are gonna come out to the side. I want you to rotate to the right, staying tall. Back thumb goes down. Reach your pinky finger to that opposite pinky toe. And I want you to be doing this with a, a nice flat back. So my belly button is reaching for that right thigh. Imagine somebody's pulling your right hand and they're gonna pull you right back up to tall and back to center. Rotate to the left, flat back cross, pinky finger to pinky toe, back thumb is down, and come right back up and twist. And rotate, cut off that pinky toe. This is technically called the saw, in case you're wondering. And so you're just gonna saw off that little pinky toe. Although I kinda like my pinky toe, so I'm glad we're not really sawing it off. And take it forward, up and center. And inhale as you rotate, exhale, reach. Inhale, come tall and back to center. Inhale, rotate, exhale, saws, bring it back up and center. Inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale, back up and back to center. Bring those feet back together. This time, bend those knees a little bit more, not a whole lot. Once again, our fingertips are gonna reach, are facing our rear. Lift your hips up, let your derriere be heavy. Neck is long. Keep your neck beautifully long. I don't want to see any shoulders that are dangerously close to looking like earrings. So stay lifted in your neck and your shoulders. From here, bending your, el uh, your elbows. Let's do 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, hover with your left leg and let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot comes down, right foot hovers, because you know we gotta do both sides, and 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, rear comes down, crisscross applesauce those legs, bring that right arm in front, grab above your elbow, right shoulders down and just stretch that. Whew. And then take that arm right down your back, grab your elbow and just get that stretch that way. Oh, good old tricep dips, gotta love them. In kind of a love-hate relationship way. And then left arm comes across. And keep that shoulder down. And then bring that elbow and press down your back, hand comes down your back. Good, and let's just flip ourselves gently over to our hands and knees. Hands are right underneath your shoulders, knees are right underneath your hips. And from here, let's reach that left hand over your head like you're shaking somebody's hand. Belly button's tight to your spine. And that right leg extends out and then lifts up and bring that elbow and that knee in. They're gonna touch and reach it long. And bring it in and touch and reach it long. And cross and touch and reach it long. Come in, make them actually touch and have that beautiful control. Bring it in and long. One more time, bring it in and reach it long. From here, just bring that left arm out to the side and then let's just bring that right leg out to the side. And we're gonna just be happy here for just a minute. Go to your happy place. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Make sure that shoulder is pressing out of your ears on that right side. You're still lifting the back of your neck and your head up. Belly button is tight to your spine. And inhale and exhale, float it right back to long. Flip that arm and that leg down. And then let's do the other side. You're gonna wiggle yourself around a little bit as needed. And then right arm reaches over your head. Left leg slides out and lifts up. Bring that elbow and knee in, they're gonna touch. And reach it long. And bring it in. And reach it long. And bring it in. And long and in and long. Two more. Last one. Hold it here, that right arm comes out, left leg goes out to the side and hold. Oh, I can't even, just out of range to rest my foot on the wall. Not that I would, but definitely keeping me honest here. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale. On the exhale, get nice and long. Float that arm down, float that leg down. And be proud of yourself for doing that so fabulously. From here, I'm gonna have you rotate your fingertips so that they're kind of facing 45 degrees toward the center. And then from here, I want you to take your right shoulder and just press it right down towards the middle in between your hands. And then coming up and left shoulder aims right down towards the middle and come right back up. This should feel like a yummy, yummy, fabulous stretch across your shoulders. I have to give you these nice, fabulous feeling moves after those tough ones so that you don't completely hate me right? Although now you know my secrets. One more time to the left. Good. And coming all the way up from here, curl your toes underneath, underneath you and shoot those hips up to the sky. Pressing into the palms of your hands and your fingertips so that your wrists don't just totally take a beating. Heels are reaching towards the ground. If you need to bend your knees and to get your tailbone reaching the sky, please do it. And from here, right leg lifts straight up to the ceiling. Let's let that right hip open up, bend that knee so it opens up, get a stretch across the front of that right thigh and hip. 
and then bring that knee right in between your hands. My foot comes off to the left a little bit. Flip that left top of your foot back to the mat and walk right out. Getting a nice stretch right in your right hip here. And you can feel if you roll, if you open your left hip up and kind of really roll back on that right hip, you lose the stretch. So keep that left hip pressing towards the ground. And if you need a little assistance with this, you can put a little block or something under that right hip if this is a challenging position for your body to get in today. If you need more of a stretch, an intense stretch, the closer to 90 degrees you get with your knee, so bringing your foot up makes this more challenging. Play with it. See where you are. And then walk those hands right back in. <clears throat> Curl that back toe under. Let's take it right back up to a down dog. This is your yoga portion of your day. Bend your right knee and your left. And your right. And your left. Both heels back. Lift that left leg up. Open that hip, let your foot drop right back towards your rear and get that stretch right across the front of that left hip and thigh. I actually kind of love, love, love this stretch. And then bring that knee right in between your hands. Flip that back foot over. Keep that, ref, left, uh, that right hip pushing towards your foot and towards the ground. And then walk those hands all the way out. And walk those hands in. Curl that back foot under. Pike your hips all the way up to the ceiling again. And we're just going to take a couple breaths here. Roll those shoulders and those arms out to the side. And breathe. Carefully walk your hands to your feet. Keep those knees soft, slowly roll up. Shoulders, neck and head are the last to come up. We are gonna end how we started. Feet are gonna be parallel and look down, make sure that they're parallel. And from here, inhale, on the exhale, nod your chin, round it down, right around your center of gravity. And I want you to just make note how your body feels in comparison to those first ones we did in the beginning. Inhale on the exhale, knees are soft, slowly rolling all the way up. Shoulders, neck and head are the last to come up. And inhale on the exhale, nod your chin, coming all the way down. And hang, shake your head a little bit yes, a little bit no. And knees soft, slowly roll all the way up. I have a necklace hanging on my glasses. I'm gonna get my jewels in order here. Excuse me, oh my gosh, I'm so tangled. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me for day four. I am always honored and appreciative to have you. I'll see you tomorrow.